and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. But before we get started, what the hell are you wearing? It's like in the movie, it's what the killer wears. Suit yourself. What are we drinking today? Le Marchand's East India Porter. Mmm. Today we're going to bring to you 1982's Pieces. It is directed by Juan Piquer Simon. It is written by Dick Randall, and he also did a real piece of work called <laughs> Lady Frankenstein. Christopher George is in this, and he's in City of the Living Dead, the Fulci movie. The guy who plays Bluto in Popeye. Jack Taylor was in this, and uh, he was in The Ninth Gate. One of the main female leads in this is Linda Day George. So Pieces starts off in 1942. There's this child building a puzzle in his room. A naked woman. Mom comes in and flips out on the poor kid. Starts smacking the shit out of him. <laughs> She's all smashing the room smashing all up. Smashing the room dude. all up. Ah, just like your father. <laughs> Getting the puzzle together to throw it out. In the meantime, the kid has come back with some big fucking axe. <laughs> and just starts chopping the mother to pieces. And then starts sawing her to pieces. Yeah. The cops have come, open up the closet door and see the kid in there, and the kid is kind of pretending to be traumatized like he was just in there the whole time. It's 40 years later, and we're on a campus, like a university campus. The girl kind of studying on the grounds, you know, in the courtyard in the grass, and here's some guy starting a chainsaw. Are you going to be long doing that? It's kind of loud. Oh, sorry, ma'am. He's going to see a silhouette of this thing coming closer, and just takes her head right the fuck up. <laughs> the cops, are, of course, are called in about this murder, and we start getting introduced to the characters as the cops start interviewing them. So there's the dean, Professor Brown, covers, like, uh, biology. Yeah, yeah. So he knows about the body parts, mm -hmm. right? The groundskeeper, <laughs> who actually uses the chainsaw on a regular basis. He's a suspect. In the meantime, we see this gloved hand putting together that same puzzle we saw in the beginning of the movie. Boy and a girl in the library, they're talking, and I want to do it underwater. Yeah. Meet me in the pool. <laughs> yeah. And she's taking a nice swim, and you see these shitty loafers, these <laughs> shitty black loafers. He drags her out of the pool, and it takes his chainsaw, just sitting in the pool area. <laughs> yeah. And it starts cutting her to pieces. Now the groundskeeper, he's roaming around, sees all these pieces, you know, pieces. <laughs> sees all the body parts, and he still doesn't really... <laughs> all he does is make this... Face, he's right? more curious yeah. than anything. The cops come in and his Bluto guy <laughs> ah, he starts like throwing the fucking cops around like rag dolls and boards are being broken <laughs> over his back and everything. <laughs> From here, the investigation is kind of going nowhere. They don't even <laughs> arrest or question the Any groundskeeper <laughs> yeah. who's around at both murders with a chainsaw. They have to put one of their cops undercover. They put her undercover as like a tennis coach. Of all well, the things, of all things. Mary Riggs is her name. While she's on campus too, they show her she's just kind of walking at night, which is a stupid thing to do because there's all these murders going on. But all of a sudden, some guy guy pops out of nowhere and starts doing all this karate and everything <laughs> at her and like oh yeah she kicks him in the nuts and he goes down kendall comes over to her rescue oh i don't know what happened all of a sudden i just hit the ground must have been some bad chop suey See ya! He just walks away <laughs> like, what the hell? And apparently the guy who plays that guy played mm -hmm. bruce lee with either one e or an eye <laughs> several times <laughs> yeah. One of the girls from the aerobics class. Bro, wearing these cowboy boots? <laughs> like, what does aerobics those, yeah, fucking heels? Those 80s half boots. Yeah. There's a figure watching her. She gets to the elevator and she's waiting there and somebody comes up behind her. And, oh, it's you. The door's open. She goes in. And you see when he goes in, you see the chainsaw behind his back. <laughs> He's like hiding a whole <laughs> huge chainsaw. How she never noticed that, I'll, I don't know. <laughs> he all cuts into her and you see all his blood squirting. And... Cuts her arm right off. <laughs> so then we see more of the puzzle getting filled out, right? Yep. At this point. The cops are still fucking useless, and so useless that now they have to get one of the kids on campus into their team <laughs> and make him like an uh, like a detective. While well, Kendall's part of the team here, they start uncovering stuff in the archives about 
the faculty. In the meantime, Mary Riggs has herself a lead. She goes up to this person's apartment. She gets drugged. Paralyzed, but she's aware. And that's where we're gonna end the yeah. story. Pieces is a movie that we've been actually kicking around wanting to do for a long time. Yeah. And I always remember when I first watched this movie with you, it was in my grandparents' basement. <laughs> yeah. We rented it on VHS. I didn't appreciate it as much then as I do now, but I do vividly remember two things. Him struggling to get those pieces and he's all yeah. having a hard time. He's all putting frustrated. To, putting together that puzzle. <laughs> In that elevator scene, when he fucking cuts off her arm and, he, yep. and the chainsaw isn't even on, it's yep. all static. And you see like blood coming from a different direction yeah. and everything. <laughs> but upon reviewing a, a couple of times since then, this movie is like tons of fun. Funnest thing is the kills are really good. They cut to the chase, man. Like it starts off with this woman being cut to pieces by her son. 40 years later, yeah. <laughs> right off the bat, like there's no dicking around here. Like That's you right. get to the good stuff right away. It's paced very well that you're never bored, right? No, and no. so there's a good amount of time in between each kill and it doesn't get bogged down in in too much dialogue and too, too much crap, yeah. right? Kill, a bit of story, another kill, a bit of story. Yeah. It's like a little bit of an investigation, yeah. then another kill, yeah. you know. It's very gory. Like a lot of blood and the effects yeah. are, are really good. A couple of kills we didn't talk about, like there's a really cool waterbed death. Stabbing her on the waterbed, mm -hmm. water's coming out, yeah, it's being mixed with the blood. Yeah, you and see everything. the blood rushing out yeah. and everything. Chases the girl down into another like little washroom. In his shitty loafers. <laughs> in his shitty loafers. And he cuts through the door, and then he cuts her in half. Right in half. Yeah, and they yeah. show, like, their yeah. skin being yeah. all cut up. Like, ooh, yeah. that's yeah. really good. It looks good, yeah. yeah. It doesn't look cheesy or anything. Yeah. Then when you see him <laughs> putting all the pieces in his freezer, the atmosphere is really good in this movie. It's got that giallo style, vivid lighting, yeah. good shadows. and Yeah, it has a little bit of an Argento kind yeah. of feel, too, right? And the music kind of helps with that a little bit as well. Yeah, the music's really good in this. Yeah, it's very, um, like, raw feeling yeah. and sort of it builds a lot of tension where yeah. it needs to. It's very really 70s <laughs> yeah, that but, it, but it works very well. It's one of those soundtracks where like yeah I if I was flipping through vinyl somewhere and I saw it like oh, I'd pick it up in a heartbeat right? Yeah. The dialogue in this movie is a tad cheesy right? Yeah. I mean it's not like you're they're gonna be winning any awards no. for writing for this movie. You killed again! You bastard! 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 <laughs> Little over the top, you think? <laughs> once I can see. Being mad enough where you yell bastard once? Maybe I can twice. see that. Maybe twice. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> she really gives her, too. Nothing better than smoking pot and fucking on a water bed. <laughs> the use of misdirection in this movie, too, is pretty cool. Because it is a whodunit, really. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, like, the groundskeeper is always hanging around, he's got the chainsaw. Yeah. Is it him? Or is it maybe one of the kids that's roaming yeah. around doing this, right? You or, don't know. Or the, one of the teachers, you or, know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, it, it's kind of neat the way they do that. It's no really. Columbo episode. <laughs> <laughs> Another really cool thing about this movie, it actually has, like, a double climax. You think the movie's over and they're wrapping it up and... Something it, else and happens. And then something again, else right? happens. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. It's all around just a fun slasher. A slasher that uses a chainsaw, a lot like Leatherface, but it doesn't seem like a Texas Chainsaw ripoff. Completely different. It's, it's, it's different, you know. It's, it's on its own. A good, fun movie to put on and have a good laugh. Yeah, and you don't have to really dissect it too much and yeah. pay a whole lot of attention, right? You just enjoy yeah. the kills and... Enjoy the boobs. There's enough of this kind of like underlying subplot with the child who killed his mother. There's enough there to kind of make it have a little bit of substance. Yeah. Besides just the death and tits. Or it's not you know? so mindless, right? <laughs> yeah. If you like Italian slashers and American slashers, it's a good mm -hmm. meld between the two, you know? Yeah. It's it's definitely it's creepy where it needs to be. Yeah. And it's fun and sort of mindless where it needs to be as well. Exactly. Right? Check out 1982's Pieces. And until next time, keep drinking. Bastard! <laughs>